In this video, we're going to focus on creating a bubble chart for streaming in Chart.js. This is another part of the Chart.js plugin streaming series. So in here, we're going to convert our item into a bubble chart. But to do that, we need to play around with the data as well. All right. So first of all, we have here the scatter. Let's convert it into a bubble. So the moment we do this and save this and refresh, you can see now we have this nice bubble chart. Now, all right where the intersect also works quite nicely while they were, it didn't work on the scatter. But there's one problem here, of course, with the bubble chart. All of these data points look exactly identical. So what we need to do here, remember, a bubble chart works with three data points, the x, the y, and the r for the radius. So we already have the x and the y, but the radius, which would indicate how big it would become or small, the paste based on importance, for example, is not sent here. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to put in here a comma. I'm going to say here an R. And here we can put in a fixed value or in my case, I'll just get a random value here. Let's get this one here as well. And I'll remove the comma here and just save this. The moment I save this, refresh, and now you can see we get different shape of bubbles, some bigger, some smaller, etc., etc. As you can see here, although they are very identical here right now because they are always matching and we can probably adjust those as well maybe eventually to have separate data because right now what happens is they get the same data here in the random so there's not a real randomness on it however this is more than enough for now uh, and you can see here we get all of this this makes the bubble slightly acceptable and slightly different in radius Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.